Hello friends, in our earlier videos we learned how to divide a quadratic polynomial by a simple linear polynomial like 2x square plus 3x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 using long division method. This we learned in our earlier videos. But what happens when we divide a cubic polynomial by a quadratic polynomial? So let's take an example, let's divide minus 3x square plus x cube plus 5x minus 3 divided by x square minus 2. As the polynomial is not in the perfect decreasing order of the degree, we rearrange the terms. Like x cube will come first, then x square and so on. So it will become x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 divided by x square minus 2. Now let us start the long division process. First, to get the first term of the quotient, divide the highest degree term of the dividend by the highest degree term of divisor. So we do x cube divided by x square. So we get x. We write x as the quotient above the line. Now we multiply x square minus 2 by the quotient x. So we get x cube minus 2x. We write it below the dividend but matching its degree to the each term. That is we write x cube below x cube and minus 2x below 5x. Now we subtract x cube minus x cube equal to 0 plus 5x plus 2x is equal to 7x. So 5x plus 2x equal to 7x minus 3x square and minus 3 from the dividend comes down. So the remaining dividend is minus 3x square plus 7x minus 3. Now again we repeat the process. We divide the highest degree of the remaining dividend by the highest degree of the divisor to get the quotient. So minus 3x square divided by x square gives minus 3. We write it as the quotient above the line and then we multiply by the divisor x square minus 2 by the quotient we got which is minus 3. We get minus 3x square plus 6 and which we write it below the di remaining dividend and matching its degree with each of the terms. So we will get minus 3x square plus 6 below it. Now we subtract minus 3x square plus 3x square so it becomes 0. Minus 3 minus 6 will become minus 9 and 7x comes down. So we get 7x minus 9 as the remaining dividend. Degree of 7x minus 9 is 1 whereas the degree of the divisor is 2x square and here the remainder is 7x minus 9. So we cannot divide 7x minus 9 by x square minus 2 that is the degree of the remainder is lesser than the degree of the divisor so division stops here. So x minus 3 is the quotient and 7x minus 9 is the remainder. So the division steps of a cubic polynomial are same as what we learned for a quadratic polynomial. So we can say when we divide a polynomial px by another polynomial gx and we get qx as the quotient and rx as the remainder then px is equal to gx into qx plus rx that is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Let's verify it in our example x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 was the dividend px, x square minus 2 was the divisor gx, x minus 3 was the quotient we got and 7x minus 9 was the remainder rx we got. Now let us put it in the formula px equal to gx into qx plus rx. Let us find the value of right hand side. It will become x square minus 2 which is the divisor into x minus 3 which is the quotient plus 7x minus 9 which is the remainder. Let us solve the first term which is the product of two polynomials. We would multiply x minus 3 with every term of x square minus 2. 
so we will get x cube minus 3x square minus 2x plus 6 plus 7x minus 9 this simplifies to x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 and look this is equal to our original dividend so px equal to gx into qx plus rx holds true so we can conclude if px and gx are two polynomials and gx is not equal to zero then we can find polynomials qx and rx such that px is equal to gx into qx plus rx here rx can be zero or the degree of rx will be less than degree of gx that is the main condition for the end of division process and this is known as division algorithm for polynomial that's all for now bye bye